always allocate your cash. Now, I know there'll be a percentage of businesses in here who are VAT registered and a percentage who aren't VAT registered, but always one of the pots to me should be the money that would go to the VAT and another one should be you. So if you imagine on your weekly turnover, the money you've got coming in, allocate it out. I'm at the moment working with a, an accountant to develop some software where you'll be able to put your figures in and it'll show which areas are way out of balance, whether it's your wage bills too high or whether it's um, your, your overheads are too high. At the moment, most people, our businesses, run so that those pots with the wages, those pots with the overheads, um, all of the, the money comes out of your pot in the middle. So that, and I speak to quite a few salon owners who if things aren't going well, they're the ones who don't get paid. The staff get paid, but they don't get paid. So your pot is very important. So you need to make sure that the money is allocated correctly across it. So again, it's a, it's a case of just sitting down and working out where your expenses are going. But with the 20% with the for the VAT, Again, I speak to a lot of, of um, salon owners who have got to that point where they should be getting registered for VAT, but what they do is they sit underneath and don't get registered and don't grow their business because they don't want to all of a sudden have to pay an extra 20% to, to the government. If from day one, the people who are starting in business, if from day one you just imagine that you're already VAT registered and put that money, you're already on that road where you, you know your prices and you know you're going to be able to afford to grow your business. You can either do that by actually opening accounts and having three or four bank accounts where the money actually transfers over or you can just have it where you have it written down. But it works brilliantly to know exactly where your cash is going.